Cosmos, this latest incarnation of Cosmos, has become yet another global phenomenon. You are a global superstar. I just saw a tweet from you saying, hit two million followers earlier today, even after reminding people I'm an astrophysicist, a sure sign that science is trending. Do you see an upswing? Do you, an, do you see an, yes. an end to this? I don't know if it's an end, but I see an up, up, upswing. I, science is trending, certainly in this country, perhaps the rest of the world. I'm just not as close to the rest of the world as I am to America, for, uh, of course. But Cosmos aired in 181 countries mm. and in 46 languages. And so the, f the force operating is huge. Uh, and, and, and the fact that in America it aired on a network, Fox, in prime time, 9 mm. o'clock, on a night Sunday where everybody's home. Where else are you on a Sunday night? Yeah. You're home. Everybody's sitting on a couch watching the, and, and, and it, Cosmos, unlike most other television programming, as best as I can figure, it, it was the first time in a long time, perhaps since Ed Sullivan, where more than one generation mm. would sit on the same couch and watch the same programming at the same time. Yeah. So much of television is fragmented. I've got it on my device, and I'm going to binge watch it here. You get something else, and you record some other program on your DVR. Absolutely. And everybody's fragmented. Mm. And every show is playing to one demographic or another. And I was asked multiple times, who is your target audience? And Andrewian would pipe in and say, anyone with a beating heart. <laughs> and that, then I thought, well, OK, do zombies have beating hearts? I wonder <laughs> if I get some zombies We've got some zombie, uh, some zombie <laughs> ratings coming in. When I said earlier that science is trending, what I meant was, it's not that people are now, uh, they're getting all their science from textbooks and somehow their attitudes towards it has been transformed because of it. It's, what I see is that, tr that science is mainstreaming. It's trending because it's mainstreaming. And one of the bits of evidence that it's mainstreaming is that artists have taken have reached out to science. People are tattooing scientific equations on their bodies. People are, the websites started by science enthusiasts, not scientists themselves, not even educators themselves, just science enthusiasts that, that embrace the methods and tools of science. IFLS is one of them. Um, I F and love science has like 15 million, maybe 16 by now million followers. All right, these are people, and that's a, an aggregator of cool science things that have shown up on the internet. So what it means is people are noticing that science is not some subject you took back in school that you're trying to forget. Science is all around us. It is so around us that you, you, you're hungry for how science is manifesting. Oh, and, and you got that dose? Now nah, give me some more. <laughs> and, then, and so you learn that we are embedded in our scientific understanding of the universe. Uh, and I like to think that Cosmos has, oh, ha, has participated in awakening that flame of curiosity within us all. And if you want to reach kids today, you've got to be in the digital medium. Yeah. It, just like television was the technology we used back in the 80s. Right. Back in the day, that's where kids were hanging out, in front of the television set, right. so that's where we went.